yeah, there's just been four. Actually, I think it says, is that wolves? Is that wolves? Yeah, so actually I said I was gonna talk about uh, Black Hat, uh, cause I'm in Vegas. That's where I live currently. It's not typically where I've always lived. Uh, in fact, I'm actually from the Bay Area, but I have been in Vegas for a couple of years. And uh, one of the few, to me, in my opinion, one of the few per perks of being in Vegas is uh, you get to go to Security Week much more easily, so I have my pick. And uh, this year, like traditionally, I've always done like DEF CON and Black Hat. Uh, this year I wanted to do B-sides instead, so I've got kind of a different schedule than I usually do. Uh, let me switch over to where that is. Yeah, so, all right, let's take a look at Black Hat this year. What's up with Black Hat this year? Okay, cool. Yeah, so like I was saying, you know, like, um, you know, it's Security Week. They call it Security Week. Um, air quotes, air quotes. Oh, you can't see air quotes because my hands are like colored and dead with the thing. I have to put it on a, there we go, air quotes. That looks like boob quotes. Boob quotes, security week. Uh, it's, uh, so actually there's, in, in fact there's some, they always say like the sixth for example, but it doesn't actually start on the sixth, like it starts on the 10th. But there's a bunch of training sessions and shit like that that usually start a few days before. So that's usually what they're including all of that in. So uh, it's usually like 10th and 11th. It's like the core days, you know, the, uh, the ponies uh, are on the 10th, um, for instance. Or what, I thought they were on the second day last year. Anyways, uh, then of course you got B-sides. B-sides is, I'm trying to remember what the schedule is actually. There we go. B-sides are this 9th and 10th. And uh, that's uh, largely lectures, a lot of lectures and, and uh, talk. There's also some uh, like uh, job seekers. There's some opportunities for that. And uh, there's some uh, active interactive type stuff too, you know, so uh, training sessions and a whole bunch of shit to do. We'll probably go through that in more detail. And of course, uh, the, the, uh, the real fun is uh, DEF CON. Um, so yeah, I've been to DEF CON a bunch of times. And uh, certainly like the last uh, three or four years, unfortunately, one of those was, uh, was virtual because it was because uh, of the COVID thing. Anyways, this year they're, um, it's not virtual, but they're still doing masks, which is very inconvenient. The rest of uh, Las Vegas, by the way, is not doing masks or anything. So it's weird for locals because, you know, it's, uh, be like the one place we would have to do it when we went in there. And I do think it interferes particularly, uh, particularly with the partying. And the parties are one of my favorite parts. Uh, but I'm not going to gripe. Uh, I, I, well, I just did. Um, but so DEF CON, you know, definitely going to that anyway. So that's 15th and 16th. Uh, actually, they just added some courses, 15th and 16th. It's actually the 11th and the 12th. Take a look at the schedule on that. But yeah, it's a, it's a whole week so that they so that they uh, overlap. So 11th through the 14th uh, for DEF CON. So you end up, you know, usually go to Black Hat first and then uh, DEF CON and Black Hat overlap a little bit. And I've never really done uh, B-sides, but B-sides kind of bridging uh, between them, I guess, or actually, no, it's roughly directly overlaps with Black Hat. So that's how I ended up going like, are they really gonna go to Black Hat this year? Anyways, the thing about Black Hat, uh, registration. It's crazy expensive. Everybody knows that, especially all the people who go to DEF CON. Here's one of the things uh, about Black Hat and DEF CON. A lot of the stuff, a lot of the content's going to be, uh, it's the same. Let me see if I can find one, uh, an example of this. So, I mean, yeah, like, you know, there's going to be briefings from, um, you know, like there's going to be uh, briefings on 
new research and things like that, uh, stuff that people like Portswear Labs have been working on, um, you know, the kinds, of, the kinds of stuff that they want to, you know, their new lines of research. So uh, why am I beating around the bush? Uh, so yeah, exploits, avenues of attack, uh, attack surfaces, new attack techniques and technologies and stuff. And that's the stuff that you're really, for me, that's what I'm going for, that and the, uh, that and the parties. Um, uh, so, but anyways, uh, yeah, as for instance, I know for a fact that uh, uh, Albino Wax, I always forget his real name, uh, James Kettle, uh, I call him Albino Wax because everybody else does. I mean, I don't know the guy. Uh, I'm just saying I know that he's, that he's doing a presentation. I'll find it here right now. Uh, but I know he's doing a presentation uh, this, uh, at this one. Let's see if we can find it by name, James Kettle. There we go, James Kettle. That's right, he will be doing browser-powered desync attacks. Right, oh yes, I, so I've read some of the early releases on this great stuff. Uh, so new new avenues in HTTP uh, request smuggling. So uh, I mean desync attack, HTTP desync attack is beyond a lot of stuff like CSRF and all of that if you, uh, at not CSRS, SSRF actually, um, you know, so it's kind of low level, much more low level stuff. Uh, actually, forget scratch it. I said CSRF. Um, this is SSRF. Totally, totally, totally different approaches. Um, so, but anyways, he did one. Um, I think like in the middle of the year that I can't think kind of hinted at where this might be going. Um, so, anyways, it's going to be a great session. Uh, I'm sure. The reason I point this out is because the same session will be presented at DEF CON as well. So you can, there we go, James Kettle. Uh, it'll be uh, browser power desync attacks, new frontier. And, uh, it's, it's the same presentation, right? Um, so that will be happening, uh, at, when is it? But I don't know, but it's on the schedule, right? So this is one of the speeches, uh, one of the uh, presentations. Uh, for DC 30, so that's DEF CON 30, which is the one we are currently discussing. So that's what I was saying. Uh, a lot of the, depending upon what you're after, you're going to find that a lot of the content, um, you know, is at both presentations and why not? It's the same audience, the same people want the same stuff. Uh, so, I mean, it would suck if you went to Black Hat and you, you were like, oh, we didn't think that, you know, we should let you know about new HTTP desync attacks. <laughs> You'd be like, what the hell? Yes, no, I definitely want to know that. Um, and, and did it with the DEF CON crowd. So uh, James Kettle is going to give the same presentation at both. Uh, but there's a bunch of other stuff. Um, okay, I actually, so when I was saying like, I was like, this year I'm going to go to B-Sides. Uh, that means it kind of very much overlaps with core Black Hat days. So I guess I'm not going to Black Hat question mark. So that's where I started asking myself, well, exactly what is it that I uh, get out of black hat anyways. I don't really care about the swag or anything like that. Uh, ironic for someone wearing a black hat t-shirt from last year, but I don't really like spending money on t-shirts. I usually wear dress shirts. So um, yeah, all my t-shirts are free, free business t-shirts. Anyways, um, usually I go because a uh, corporation's paying for it and the um, tickets are not cheap. Uh, that's what I was saying before, like, uh, if you want to, you know, if you want to compare, like, the audiences of Black Hat and DEF CON, that's one of the things that distinguishes them is that the audience of Black Hat has more money because it's expensive to go to Black Hat. And uh, DEF CON's like uh, 400 bucks or something. It's, it's doable. Because um, I have this, I also have uh, another... Uh, comparison that's comparing the different uh, the features that you get for the different um, for the different options and these are the prices uh, okay so yeah I mean like so this is place where all the vendors have their stuff that's the business hall right and uh, if like people are looking for like USB chargers or whatever for free like, free t-shirts that's where you get that stuff um, and obviously vendors are showing their where, so uh, that can be handy if you're looking to deep dive into some product that you might be specking out for the company that you work for. 
uh, which is a lot of a lot of times what I have ended up going to the business center for. So you know, like if you're like, oh, this is the one that I want to, that I really <laughs> that I really hope we choose, and you might go to a couple extra sessions so that you could better informed with that product, so that not just so that you can tell your bosses, you know, uh, like this is the one we should choose, but you know, also so that you can think about it better in terms of how you deploy it. How do I think about this from an engineering perspective? That kind of crap. So that's the business hall. Um, that's where all that crap happens. Um, so you can get a pass just to that. Uh, there's like a free pass to the virtual business hall. I don't know why I would need that. Can I get just go to the company's websites? It seems like it's the same crap. Um, <clears throat> but you can get an in-person um, pass for just the business hall. Uh, for 600 bucks, that's still, I mean, it's a lot um, compared to DEF CON, right? DEF CON, you get app, everything for, uh, was it 350 or 400 bucks? Um, you do have to stand in line uh, the first day to get your tickets. Anyways, so I never got a business pass before because usually the company's paying for it. And when you get the company to pay for it, uh, you just have them register it early and, you know, it's, um, it's a few thousand dollars. <laughs> Right, so I don't think I've ever paid for full black hat myself out of out of pocket. Um, and sometimes, if you're working with a vendor and you ask them early enough, you get them to give you a business pass because they get some allocation of them too, uh, which can be uh, which can be nice. Last year, I got a vendor to give me a couple, so uh, I could bring a date. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, well, it does say I was going to say, so that's why I have this page up. It does say with the business pass, you do get access to the keynotes and the features. And like I said, I never had to look at this matrix before and compare what access you get to what. I either was going to Black Hat and a corporation paid for it, or I was not going to Black Hat. Um, so I never wondered what, what this was, like features, right? Business Hall, I was just saying what that is. So, And there are a couple of other interesting things uh, that happen in the business hall. To there are a couple of minor competitions, but nowhere on the level of DEF CON. DEF CON's like a full-on hack, hacking fest, right? <clears throat> it's more like cybersecurity as business fest. But uh, so this part, I decide I already described what it is in the keynotes, and uh, I'm thinking, actually, I'm not 100% sure. But no, okay, that would include like just the the beginning and closing keynotes for sure. Features. That's what I was saying. I never had to wonder what the hell features are. Like, what is what does this say? Because it's checked over here. I'm like, okay, so this may be the deciding factor of whether or not I buy a $600 pass that overlaps with uh, um, uh, that overlaps with B-sides, right? That I'm already scheduled for. So what are features? Well, it's here on the website. I've got a section. Features. Uh, Arsenal. This is kind of cool. There's a couple of times when I've seen things that were just, this is basically demo day for new uh, rising stuff. Uh, and it covers the whole range. So you'll get like research level crap from, not crap, but research level stuff from some, you know, like college team or whatever that doesn't really have a product yet or sometimes like some open source framework, some small group will be demoing or something. Once in a while I've seen stuff uh, demoed in these sessions that, um, you know, over the next couple of years really does become something. So it can be useful. Usually I stop in see if there's, you know, what, what cool stuff is happening. Uh, a lot of this stuff also, if it's, you know, especially if it's community driven or open source stuff, it'll end up in uh, at DEF CON anyways. Uh, so like I said, a lot of this, over, this overlaps with DEF CON quite a bit and it's a questionable value. Business Hall I previously described, like I said, if you need, you know, t-shirts or whatever, uh, get that there. Or if you specifically want to demo something that you're thinking about buying in the next quarter or so. Uh, or that you may have to have an engineering discussion about, uh, then that's that's where you go for that. It's very spammy, so like, you know, especially if your name is attached to a, well, I always try to put my name, the company I work for as undisclosed, no matter where I work, I just say it's undisclosed. Because um, otherwise they'll get really specific and, you know, you get very focused marketing efforts. That can be good. Uh, they'll give you tickets to their parties or whatever, stuff like that. Um, so anyways, I don't know what this is, dark reading, it is true, dark reading runs a live stream of interviews at, uh, at the convention every year, 
I don't know. I mean, it's it, I, you watch it on the screen while you're eating uh, a free sandwich. Uh, it's pretty much the thing. I've never gone to this before. I've never read this page, never looked into the features section before, so I didn't know. But apparently on the first day, if you don't know what to do with Black Hat, there's, uh, there's a session where they somebody goes through all the stuff that you should do with Black Hat. That's interesting. I know about the innovation spotlight competition. Uh, yeah, there's actually a store where you can buy stuff, you know, uh, hoodies, that kind of thing. Blah. Okay, one thing's really cool, uh, the Black Hat Network Operations Center. Uh, oh, let's see if we get some pictures. And basically every year it's put to, it's assembled out of, uh, you know, like sponsor, basically sponsor stuff. Um, I mean, maybe that's an unfair, maybe that's unfair characteriza characterization, but in my uh, experience, like the whole technology stack is, it'll all be a, what sponsors are pushing, right? Um, and that, that makes total sense. I'm not like dogging it or anything. It's just that there were times that, you know, like me and, and coworkers, you know, we go to, so anyways, this is the knock. You can go there and you can visit it. it it's there, it's the Network Operations Center for Black Hat. And it's gods of fun to see what's going on. They have this at DEF CON too. Um, but anyways, I just noticed there's like a stuffed monkey uh, or something over here with weird sunglasses on. Um, but anyways, yeah, I mean like, I remember one year I went through with some friends of mine and I was here, it was a couple of years ago and rap, was it Rapid7? No, it was uh, RSA NetWitness, it's, it's SIM, I, I'm doing the air quotes again. <laughs> a SIM was very heavily represented, um, very obviously and heavily represented uh, in the NOC technology stack, i.e. they had you know, like visualizations up front and stuff like this, this might actually be it. No, that's not NetWitness. Um, you know, and, and you see how there are the sponsors down here, right? These are the sponsors for, uh, for the Network Operations Center, uh, part of the project. Sorry to out you, dude. Um, anyways, and so anyways, I, like I was saying a couple of years ago, I went there with a couple of friends. We were checking it out for a while and they had some RSA NetWitness based uh, visualizations or shit, whatever, displays on the front. And we were like, <laughs> first of all, it takes way too long to do that in RSA NetWitness. And the, the, like the visualization is not particularly actionable. Like it's not really usable. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you've been in the business for a while, this is all flash. And you know, uh, this isn't, this is not what I'm talking about. But sometimes you will see stuff. It's just all flash and no substance. The reason I know this stuff is not just flash and not substances because they're actually like using it to work on stuff except maybe the picture of fozzy bear up there but anyways um so i mean not, yeah this stuff is at least at a high level is somewhat somewhat usable um this is what this is what real real work <laughs> looks like down here in the corner okay it's it's a lot less fun to look at visually uh so this is the, the real work being done um, anyway, so we were, uh, we were looking at, we saw these RSA NetWitness, uh, visualizations or displays or whatever. And we'd been getting like, uh, you know, pitched hard from RSA NetWitness, uh, in that year. And so we were like, oh, okay, it's a big marketing push. And so that's why they're there because we wouldn't have used anything like that. Um, it was just the kind of thing that you look at it and you go, I just don't see how this helps me get my job done. Um, anyways, that's the knock. It is fun anyways, because you get to go check it out. Uh, also, I, I think they do a presentation uh, at some point. I've never really made it to it, but the knock, the knock team does come and talk. Oh, wait. Uh, no, I may have seen the DEF CON version of the same thing. So the knock team comes and gives a presentation about their tech stack and, uh, you know, how they're, how they're doing everything. And it's, and it's hella cool. Oh, check it out. The knock's going to be streamed uh, live via their Twitch channel. Uh, they have a Twitch channel, and I'm going to uh, link it in the chat here. There it is. So go watch their Twitch channel, and it uh, looks like I'm already watching them. I will be notified. Oh, all right. I mean, I was already, obviously, I'm already signed up to, for them. So, uh, all right. Anyways, that's the NOC Network Operations Center. Um, the ponies. Yeah, I mentioned the parties. A bunch of these parties. Um, so technically, they're black hat parties. So you're supposed to 
you know, like, at some point, I assume you're supposed to, you know, um, prove that you are attending Black Hat. I don't know if at any point I've ever, once I've had my name on the list, if I've ever been asked to show that I was actually attending Black Hat or anything. Um, so yeah, I'm signed up for like, I already have a full schedule of uh, Black Hat and, and DEF CON parties. And um, so yeah, I'm not sure you really need this to get into that. Um, but you know, it, it counts. And there's a lot, you know, if you don't know, it's, it's a whole thing. So all these companies, they all want to uh, wine and dine you because they think you're easily impressed and that will make you buy their stuff. Now the smart ones just provide a comfortable and, you know, um, well, uh, uh, socially lubricated and, and you know, um, tasty treats to keep you hanging around so that you will look at their stuff and talk to their people. Um, so I think I'm set up for something at Dark Trace because to tell you the truth, I actually kind of am interested in their shit. Plus they have uh, one of the best the best restaurants in the Mandalay Bay. Um, and a hacker one, yeah, definitely always for sure a hacker one. And I think no name. One of these ones is working in something interesting. It might not be here. It's doing something interesting in the overlap of uh, AI and machine learning and uh, SIM. Um, no, not SIM, pen testing, actually. So I actually set something up with them uh, to meet and discuss it and learn more about their product during the show. So legit business actually does take place there. Of course, the ponies, we all know uh, of the ponies last year, they went to, uh, uh, as I recall, like, no, it was two years ago, it went to Orange Psy. And uh, last year was, yeah, here we go, Koala's Research uh, actually won them last year. Uh, has some very sad pictures uh, from last year's uh, ponies. There was like a huge, um, this huge uh, four. It's one of the biggest ballrooms, and I swear there was like me and six other people in there, and that was it. And it was total lockdown mode. Um, so it was kind of sad. Anyways, um, I don't know about the rest of this, and so. That is what our, it's, those are features. That's what are the Black Hat features. Now, is that worth, what is it, 595 bucks to me? Uh, I don't think so. As I said, I'm not getting these other passes. I only get, you only get those if your company's paying for them. Otherwise, don't get them. Um, and this is a virtual pass. I don't see what use that is. So I don't know, 600 bucks uh, for the Black Hat features. So, I think in conclusion, I've been through all of this actually, obviously, before I've been thinking about this for a couple of days. Uh, so I think this year, first year in a long time, I'm actually going to skip Black Hat. I'm only going to do B-sides on uh, the 9th and the 10th of August, and then DEF CON uh, on the 11th through the 14th. So uh, although actually I am asking a couple of vendors if they might drop me a, a business hall pass. If they do, I might show up to the ponies. Uh, anyways, and uh, and maybe had a couple of uh, uh, a couple of extra parties. And like I said, there actually is a couple of there are a couple of companies showing up this year. One of them in particular is new, and they have a sort of machine um, learning and human guided pen testing as a service platform, which is weird. Um, so and that's kind of interesting to me. Um, oh. That's right, I said when I started to remind me that I actually have a hot dog in the oven. Um, yeah, I know, they're terrible, and I, I heard every time you eat a hot dog, it takes like a year off your life, but uh, but dang it, they're so good. Um, so I don't eat them very often, but I do have all kinds of plans for DEF CON, and for B-sides, like I said, I got a full roster of parties already set up for every night, and I'm going through and picking out which of these uh, informational sessions and uh, training things that I want to go to. In the meantime, I'm also studying for the Security Plus. I'm not even going to say studying. It doesn't seem like there's much to study. As I said, I've been doing this for 20 years. So at least all the practice tests that I've tried so far, there's just really nothing to even to even really study. Um, 
Uh, but I thought I might do some of those on here. I know that's a weird thing to do, but I'll be like, let's do some practice exams for various certificates um, or whatever. <clears throat> also, it seems like it's really, uh, it's, it's a cheap test and it seems like it's really easy to schedule it so I can just knock it out right away. Um, anyways, <clears throat> I think that's it. I'm going to go eat my hot dog and I might come back later and play some Skyrim or talk about my plan for B-Sides and DEF CON this year and uh, let you guys know what I think are the sessions that are worth attending. Like I already mentioned, there's going to be that um, James Kettle session um, that's going to be browser powered desync attacks a new frontier in HTTP request smuggling. I'm going to put the link in the chat to that article and I will say <clears throat> pretty much every year his presentations have um, been actionable. Again, why am I beating around the bush? What do I mean by been actionable? I've been <clears throat> I mean that if you are a defender, he's going to be describing things that you will be encountering in the coming year because other people will see his research and will you know, expound on it and, uh, and, you know, weaponize it. And that happens every year. And not just his, everybody else's research. So uh, those are the sessions that I try to, that I try to hit. They're equally, they're of equal value to attackers or defenders. It doesn't really matter which perspective, it never has mattered which side of the fence you are on. You need to know the same stuff. Um, so the bad guys are gonna know this stuff. You need to know this stuff. Or if you're a bad guy, we could say, if the good guys are going to know this stuff, you need to know this stuff. So, um, <clears throat> so that's my agenda when I'm picking out what kinds of sessions I'm going to be attending at these cons. And I will let you in on uh, what I'm planning to attend this year and what I think is noteworthy uh, in the next one. So, thanks for showing.